So I did my undergrad at Western University in uh, Kinesiology and Medical Sciences and um, I took a lot of science courses um, and I think it provided a good foundation for PA school. Um, so especially in first semester it provided a good foundation for anatomy, physiology, um, and second semester it's helping with pharmacology as well. So um, Kin and Med Sci is a good uh, program to be in. My extracurricular activities, um, so from first year to uh, fourth year I was part of the Western tennis team and um, in fourth year I actually captained the team and that year we won uh, OUA so that was very special. Um, I did two mission trips with the Habitat for Humanity so we went to Thibodeau, Louisiana and uh, we helped with the um, rebuilding houses and stuff for um, after Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Katrina. Um, another Extracurricular I did was uh, we I was VP internal as part of Ethnocultural Support Services, which was under uh, University Student Council. That was in fourth year, uh, so we organized events where um, we were trying to raise awareness for cultural diversity and um, different issues that came up on campus. Um, another extracurricular I did was volunteering at the local walk-in clinic. Um, those were probably my volunteer um, and extracurriculars, and then work was something different, so I tutored at Oxford Learning, I coached at University Tennis Club, and um, I think that's pretty much it. So how did you um, approach volunteering? Like, did it begin in university? Did it begin in high school? Um, so it began in high school, um, grade nine, so we had to meet the 40-hour requirement to um, uh, graduate and I actually started enjoying volunteering so I started off at a retirement home and then um, I moved on to work at Joseph Brandt Hospital uh, where I started off in the gift shop and then moved on to ICU and eventually day surgery and uh, I started using my volunteer experiences to navigate uh, different career options so I also volunteered at uh, a physiotherapy clinic to see if kinesiology would be a good undergrad option for me um, I think I enjoyed spending time with different uh, patients and the different populations. So at retirement home, it was more the seniors, and then at the hospital, it could be a variety of ages. And I got the opportunity to work with athletes at the physiotherapy clinic. So it gave me exposure to patient care experience and uh, my interest in sciences. Mm -hmm. And were you doing all these leadership positions right from the get-go in first year, or did you build up to it? Um, I think I built up to it because first year I was a bit trying to get oriented with my academics and then as I got comfortable with uh, my learning style and uh, uh, how to study and how to be efficient with my studying I got more um, comfortable adding on more extracurriculars so I think um, third year and fourth year I probably uh, took on more leadership roles in my extracurriculars and a good example would be tennis um, where as a captain I had more duties to do I had to make sure the whole team was happy and the whole team was uh, healthy and fit to be competing um, and I also was able to work with the, um, the coach um, to like come up with lineups and discuss like this player's strengths and weaknesses and um, I think I got more comfortable with those leadership positions as I progressed through undergrad. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about your healthcare experience hours? So for school, I guess um, for PA program, most of my healthcare experience hours came from uh, working as a kinesiologist after graduating. I worked at two physiotherapy clinics and uh, the common uh, responsibilities included setting up patients with treatment modalities, so ultrasound, TENS, IFC, um, and also teaching them exercises. At one clinic particularly, the gym was my office. So um, I worked with multiple patients, but I had to make sure the form was good. And then um, once those exercises became easier for them, I had to progress them to harder or more challenging exercises. And that was really rewarding um, to see them kind of go through the recovery process. So that's where I got most of my hours from. Um, and then aside from that, I used my high, high school experiences as well as um, some other uh, volunteer experiences I did throughout undergrad. So uh, in the summer, I started off volunteering at a family health clinic close to home. And then um, the next summer, I got, it, uh, I got hired at the same place to work as a medical assistant to complete patient profiles. Um, so I completed a lot of patient profiles, and there was a lot of um, 
communication required and uh, some of these patients were ESL so um, English was their second language and I had to find alternate modes of communication so that challenged me in a different aspect um, and then there was a walk-in clinic close to university where I did about four to eight hours weekly um, and again it was a different population uh, it was closer to the rural um, areas of London and downtown areas so the population was different there that's pretty much it. So aside from the high school ones, those were my undergrad ones. How did you get the job um, volunteering at the clinic? Like, what was your end for those opportunities? Well, King's Theology was an interesting story. So after graduating, um, I couldn't find a job for two months. So I actually did the Explore program after um, my fourth year. And I applied before I went. And then even throughout the five weeks I was at the Explore program, I didn't hear back. And King is a very competitive um, I guess job to get because um, volunteers could do some of those uh, duties so sometimes people prefer to hire volunteers so it was actually um, so July so a few months after I graduated it was uh, during a tennis match <laughs> where I played against my boss's husband um, and he overheard me saying I did my, kines uh, my degree in kinesiology and um, that I was looking for a job and he's like hey my wife's looking to hire um, and then so I submitted my uh, resume and then went in for an interview and it was quite far from home. Um, it was in Orangeville and I was in Brampton so um, I had to get a car and get used to it but like that's how you start, right? And um, in terms of other clinics I just uh, applied and then I showed up and I tried to follow up as much as I could because a lot of people were applying. So that was like the walk-in clinic uh, close to university and uh, the one I worked uh, at throughout the summer it was um, actually my Fam my mom's family doctor, so not mine, at that time, and uh, I was like, I was just there with my mom, uh, and then I was like, oh, like this is what I did my studies in. Are there any opportunities? Um, so I guess like just use your <laughs> network and kind of uh, try to um, advocate for yourself and say, this is what my background is. This is how I can help your clinic. Sometimes you have to start off as a volunteer and kind of uh, prove your skills and prove yourself before you get hired. Um, and as a student, it's probably best if you can get hired, especially with uh, finances and stuff, but yeah. Can you sort of speak to how pre-PAs could try to diversify their experiences? The main tip I would give in terms of getting healthcare experiences, there's no right way. So that's a, that's a common question I get from pre-PAs. It's like, what should I do my healthcare experience in to make my application stand out? And I think there's no right um, magic recipe, per se. Um, it's more just do what interests you, and um, you can... If you do what interests you, you'll shine in that field. And um, you, the passion kind of shows when you speak about it at interviews. Um, so in our class particularly, we have people from a variety of backgrounds. Um, at U of T, uh, you require 910 hours of patient care experience. So we have uh, people who are paramedics for 23 years. We have people who have like um, sleep techs, um, PTs, and medical, a lot of medical assistants, uh, nurses who chose um, PA over nurse practitioners. So it's, everyone has a different story. Um, and everyone's uh, choice of uh, entering PA school was based on their uh, healthcare experience, or at least it played a role in it. <laughs>